All right, so here we go, modeling away. And if something fails along the way, usually I just hit enter on the keyboard, undo it, and then restart it from a different point. So I'll restart it here to here, like that. Sometimes it does weird things. Now, I work mainly on the points first, and then I go back to the center. So for this right here, because I don't want to yield a triangle in this area, I'd probably go like this. Grab all these vertices right here and scoot them down some. Okay. And what that will allow me to do one, two, four. So I got one, two, four. Even though this one is kind of a, a little bit of a harsh change right here. So, you know, I'll probably scoot that down all the way to the end and support this edge right here. There we go. Okay, now just right here to here, here to here, and then last I have to worry about is this big section right here. So now see how that that didn't catch on right there. So that's why I'm saying sometimes you have to just re. Think how you're going to put that curve in. There we go. Okay, and the last one looks like if I just cut this linear all the way through, that one, that one, and there, I should now have an axe. All right, now I have to do is take this and mirror it to the other side. So in order to do that, first off, what I want to do is go into edge loop utilities to edge loop and move this edge loop up some. Okay. And then modify freeze or reset transformations. Edit modify center pivot. So I can center that pivot up. And then go towards the bottom here and move this pivot point. And I do that by hitting dog on the keyboard, D, and then V on the keyboard. Now, if I don't hit V, it just won't snap. So actually, I'm just going to hit dog and move it down. Because I don't really want to snap it to any point. I just want to move it down. Now, I'm mirroring this across X and Z. But before I do that, I want to do a modify freeze transformation on it. And that will reset any of the, the weird translates or scales or anything like that on it. So X and Z. So here's my mirror cut. Now sometimes this fails, but I'm just as a disclaimer. So what I'm going to do is choose X and Z. And then apply it. Okay, good. And the reason it fail it would fail is if I chose to do the bottom and then mirror it to the top, I have to do the positive. Here, let me explain that. I have to do the positive change of an item. In other words, Y is positive up, not down. Therefore, it'll mirror correctly. 
That probably wasn't a good explanation either, but that's what you're going to have to live with, I think. Now, what's really nice is, see how I can make this as thin and thick as I want? And it will automatically tie all the vertices together. Okay, so now I have this thing. I can duplicate it. And if I hit 3 on the keyboard, you see, even smooth, not much of a change. I mean, I'm going to have to fix up maybe this point right here, but that's a very easy thing to manage to do. I can delete this other one, go right into the top. And the reason that kind of collapses in and on itself is because of these vertices right here. Again, always support your vertices at the very end if you want a sharp edge. A little bit sharper. You don't want that too sharp because then if you make a mistake with the axe, you're, you've made a huge error. All right, pretty cool. Now, if you want this sharper, all you do is to pull this edge out too. Like here's this edge. If I grab this edge a little bit, going all the way around. And what I want to do is mess around with something like this, where it's got transform component. And transform component allows me to pull it out without scaling it out. There's a nice sharp edge. And then I just had to repair these one points here. So. Now I could do this using Alt on the keyboard and my arrow keys, I can nudge this one back into shape if I wanted to do that. I just want to show you that because that's a very uh, easy way to move a vertice very nonchalantly. So I love that little trick right there. Or, you know, you could just jump into your top view and have at it. Pull that one back. I have to grab this vertice in my perspective view just to see which one it is in my other views. So, there we go. And if you want a sharper point, you just kind of work it, work it through. So that is modeling an axe, and I can get as deep as or dark as I want, but I think I'll go one more video and I'll show you how I would handle a handle on it. Uh, just because I don't know, it, it's pretty review, but I'm just going to show you that next video.